All right, let's head to this minefield, which isn't too far away. It looks like a pretty long way on the map, but it's like the journey isn't as big as you think. It'll probably just take like a few minutes to get there. Oh, I forgot the enemies at the elementary school would have uh, respawned again because the enemies usually spawn after like uh, about 10 days. Like just over a week, or sometimes it's like two weeks, about 14 or 15 days. Yeah, so I'll have to watch out for them. I think it's been about 10 days on this since I, yeah, since I cleared out the elementary school. It was like just after I came out the vault as well. Oh yeah, so the point uh, is saying to go between the north and the northeast. Yeah, so that's the way to the minefield. And by the way, I have been warned that there's quite a lot of mines there, and I think there was a sniper, I can't quite remember. Yeah, I'll have to watch out for him as well, if there's one. What's one of those robo brains? I think they're like. Yeah, I think they're like uh, in other vaults around here. In fact, I'm not really sure what they're for. Like, I'm not sure if they're like household robots. But I actually think we'll have androids in like the future. So we might have like robots that look like, I mean, uh, look like humans. But I think I said that a bit too fast there. Yeah, because apparently there's this Japanese designer. I can't remember what his name was, but apparently he's like, apparently he's like invented a. Uh, Android that looks a bit like a human and acts a bit like a human, but apparently they'll be in like households probably in a few decades, probably sooner than you think. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of that program that I saw called Humans, and if you haven't watched it, I'd watch it, it's pretty good. Pretty much like what it's about is it's about these androids that people have in like the homes and that. And uh, some people are like worried in case they like turn evil and try and like kill people. Yeah, it's a pretty good story. Kind of reminds me of Alien Isolation as well, with like the threat of like the androids on the space station. Some of them were really hard to kill, like especially the ones in the yellow coats. We take like multiple shotguns to the head just to kill one of them, and. Finding ammo was really difficult. I'm actually surprised I managed to survive playing Alien Isolation, which was about a year ago when I first started playing it. I think I only died like once on it. But yeah, it is a pretty difficult game, by the way. Oh, nice. Head exploded. Yeah, I don't know what's happened to the carrying capacity, it seems to have gone down. Unless, like, any alcohol might have worn off. I've got some whiskey down here. Right, I've never really tried whiskey before. Yeah, apparently that's how, like, uh, Lemmy Kilmister, the singer of Motorhead, died. Because apparently he was drinking too much whiskey. But like he was told to like not drink too much, so he drinks vodka instead. Yeah, I think he died just at the end of last year, in like December 2015. But you know he was a bit like Elvis. You know he was really famous for like the music he did. Yeah, yeah I thought he was really good. But I wouldn't say Motorhead's like my favorite band. I'd say like um, probably Machine Head or Pantera or like my type of band, but still I think you did really good music. Ah! I think they're throwing grenades as well. Yeah, grenades do quite a bit of damage in this game, so that's something I need to be careful of. 
Right, I've got a little bit more adrenaline point. I mean, action point. Ha! They've just killed one of the own raiders. And I've got the XP for it. That, wait, that's never really happened before. Unless they're like, through the grenade at the wrong angle. Oh dear, she's got a combat shotgun. They do quite a bit of damage, but I haven't really noticed many enemies using them. Well, I've noticed the Taloon Company usually use combat shotguns quite a bit. And pretty much, they just try and kill, like, good people. In fact, I think they just try and kill anyone, to be honest. So, yeah, I've got to watch out for them. They're, like, hitmen. So if you get, like, a bit of a bounty, then they'll come after you. Right, whoa, there's so much blood around here, and there's so many, like, guts and organs. Yeah, but that's, that's because I got the bloody mess perk. I think it was when I turned level 7, so that's how, like, shootouts are, like, much more gory now, and, like, enemies, like, explode in, like, a red paste. But I'm not surprised this game is rated 18 because of, like, the amount of gore. I may as well unlock this, even though I'm not really going to go in it. Just doing it for the XP. Which I think it's important if I, like, get as much as possible and try and level up as quickly as possible. But I don't want to have the well-rested perk because I kind of want to be... Like, uh, yeah, well, well, I don't want to reach level 30 too quickly because I've still got quite a few quests to do. And, you know, it'll look a bit strange if I'm, like, max level, if I'm not earning, like, any XP for, like, the second half of the story. So, try and level up quickly, but not, like, too quickly, if you know what I mean. Right, oh yeah, this is the minefield. Oh yeah, so, yeah, I've heard picking up mines like that is, like, usually, like, a safe way to get it. Alright, let's see what's in here. The Gibson house. Oh, nice, I've leveled up. Right, um, yeah, I'm gonna pick, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, increase lockpick. In fact, I'll increase the lockpick and I'll increase repair a little bit. Because I want to try and get repair to, like, a hundred. Repair's like very vital. Right, instead of intense train, I'm going to get this perk so I can find some more ammunition in boxes and crates. Just, you know, I've been rationing on like ammo pretty much. So that's why I was using like melee weapons. Yeah, so if I find some more ammunition, then that'll be good. That was good as well. Uh, magazine to increase my lockpick well like an educational book I'd probably say what it is right I'm just checking the house for supplies oh you've got to be kidding me right I only need one more level up on strength so I think my strength is 4 now I just needed to get it to 5 so when I level up again and then I'll be able to get the, what's it called, oh yeah, strong back perk, so I can carry an ex extra 50 pounds of equipment, which will be really good. Yeah, pretty much if I carry too much, I'll just try and eat a bit of food, because that usually, like, decreases the amount of capacity you're carrying. 